It's time to bring back the good vibes of years gone by. Let's party like it's 1799. It's the amazing finger guillotine. Chop, chop. Let's open it up and then we'll give it a Mr. Tasteful score. Don't you just wish.com that we could head back to the good old days of public executions? I can't think of a better way to spend a lazy Sunday morning. Some assembly required. Now, with our inspection gloves on, assembly. One, two, together. Not as troublesome as expected. Did you know the guillotine was used for public executions in France until 1977? I thought it was gone in the 1800s. Let's take a look at this bad boy. We pull up the plastic slider. We can clearly see the blade pass through the hole. If we then push the slider back down, chop chop, gloves off for this example. Inside is an L-shaped blade. If I push it down normally, the L-shape remains in this direction. However, if I place something inside and lift up, that L-shape pivots around my finger. So it is now in this direction. So when I then push down again, that L-shape is going to pivot around my finger. Is it groundbreaking magic? No, not at all, but I know somebody we can fool. Jimmy, it's the home guillotine. We just stick something in, press down, chop, chop. Okay, Jimmy, let's just get your leg in there. One, two, three. Oh, tricked you, Jimmy. You're safe. That's right, Jimmy. It's quite the simple process. Strange question, Jimmy, but no. This is just for magic tricks. <laughs> no, 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 Jimmy. You're not making any modifications to this. Let's give the finger guillotine a Mr. Tasteful score. We're scoring the finger guillotine based on the factors of weird, tacky and functional. Starting off with weird. The finger guillotine trick, it's been around for years. We're not really fooling anyone. Three out of 10. Next, we move on to tacky. And it's just another magic prop. Five out of 10. Finally, functionality. It couldn't even cut my finger off. 2.2 out of 10. So I'll need to find something else to do on a Sunday morning that involves public shaming. A Mr. Tasteful score of 10.2 out of 30. Over to the Mr. Tasteful leaderboard, where shame, it can be seen everywhere. The finger guillotine on 10.2 points goes into position number 42. Just above, we have the first aid tourniquet and the fake bloody hand, and just below the easy to sketch projector screen. And for those who are completely shameless, at the top of the leaderboard, we have the pea funnel, fake camel toe, and blue plastic ear covers. If you also miss those good old days, maybe this is the nostalgic touch that you need to bring back the good vibes. And for good vibes in the future, subscribe to Mr. Tasteful. Oh, Jimmy. You're becoming quite the little entrepreneur.